Drew Holiday, who, of course, played a significant role, starter for the most part, with Team USA uh, as they won gold this year. They, 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 they won it by the hair on their chinny-chin-chin, but they did win gold uh, in the Olympics, saving a massive disaster as far as basketball is concerned. Um, but Drew today uh, was asked if that Olympic gold medal meant more than his NBA championships. Now, remember, he has two. He's got one with Milwaukee in Giannis's only ring and then goes to Boston, traded to Boston when the Bucks thought they were upgrading by getting Damian Lillard. And all Drew does is help Boston win a championship. It's first since 2008. Here's Drew on that. The medal in Paris was cool. Uh, it was obviously against France. So it was kind of like literally us against the world. But winning here was amazing. Uh, I'm not sure you can touch that. To be able to win here in Boston, game five. And, I mean, the crowd, the, the shot they did. I mean, it was just all so overwhelming. That, that was amazing. And then the parade was crazy, too. So I can't, I don't know. I feel like I'm still on the high about uh, everything going on. Sound wasn't great, but he basically said, no, the, the ring with the Celtics NBA championship meant more than winning that Olympic gold medal. Um, now, you contrast that with what Carmelo said. Rob G was about two weeks ago, Carmelo Anthony, and he said, correct me if I'm wrong, he would not trade any of his, what, four gold medals for one NBA championship or for an NBA championship. Was that was that the gist of what he said? That is correct. Um. And I I really like Melo, Martin. I, well, let me, I, I was going to say I don't believe him. And I really don't believe him. Right. But I I also think right now where he's at and what, with his basketball career ending the way it did and without a ring, I do think he probably is of the mentality of, you know what? I got something. Nope. Does anybody else have four rings? Durant, I think, right, has four goals, yes, medals. KD but does. for Melo, like that's Melo's claim to fame. I, I, It really is that he won four Olympic gold medals and he was the leading scorer and rebounder for a while. Now I think he might be second in both. But, like, that's what he can point to. So I think he's going to rise, you know, try to push up the level of these Olympic gold medals and what they mean. And I look, I'm not, the Olympics are the Olympics, right? That's the world competition. The world stage is fantastic. And for track stars, for uh, 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 other people in other events, swimmers and all that, mm -hmm. it's the ultimate. For American basketball players... Stop it. it! I mean, I, you better win. Now, it's going to change in 2028 when we probably won't win. I'm, and I'm just saying. But up recently, up until this year, because this will probably be the final year, at least that we know we're going to win, you better win. You are on a stack team with Hall of Famers galore, playing against teams that at best got five NBA players, and most of them aren't even stars. Serbia had, what, three, two or three NBA players, one star, and they almost beat you. So the, my point is this. Winning those Olympic gold medals is, is you supposed to. Your team is stacked. It's much more talented than any competition you're facing. So Drew Holiday is absolutely right that an NBA championship for an American basketball player means much more than winning an Olympic gold medal. Now, if Serbia had beaten or even France had beaten America this year, I kind of get if, if Joker would have been like, you know what, this takes the cake. I, I love the championship with Denver, but this 
is the ultimate because he was representing his not only his country, obviously the American players are as well, but he would have really overcome something. You would have really climbed the mountain. If you're Serbia and you're Nikola Jokic and you lead that cast of solid but not great players to victory over LeBron, Steph, KD, Jason Tatum, so on and so forth, I would get that. Or Luka with uh, Slovenia. Or Mm -hmm. Giannis with, you know, with, with, uh, 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 Greece, and, or or even Wimbanyama with France. But America, I, I don't want to hear it because honestly, man, y'all got it easy. And I know these games have been tough, but they shouldn't be. Because yeah. Martin, quickly, I, just last thing. What sometimes people don't understand, because we've talked about the international rise and how they've really, at least the ultimate best players in the league right now are for international players. But it's not like they're all playing together in the Olympics. You're not facing an international dream team in the Olympics. You're facing countries that are much smaller than the United States that have far fewer NBA players on their teams, and you're still struggling with them. Uh, I'm done. Yeah, struggle, struggling to me is a term I would not use to qualify what happened in the actual tournament. Uh, really? Olympics. Yeah, with I wouldn't. France, France, they didn't struggle with France or with uh, Serbia. I wouldn't say not. And it's a they were down thirteen heading into the fourth quarter against Serbia. That's not struggling. They won the game by double digits, Chris. Like I don't know. Like I'm sorry, they won the game by double digits. I get that they, they were. Didn't, lo- hold on, you really gonna sit here and and this isn't the argument, but you really gonna say they didn't struggle with Serbia? And did they win that last game by double figures? I I thought they did, but either way, I'm not trying to. Be, I mean, they yeah. down they were down 17. All right, but to get to the point of what we're talking about, I think that if I'm Drew Holiday, then absolutely my NBA titles, especially the one I just got, means more than my Olympic gold medal did. In part because when I'm playing like all season last year, we were I mean I was one of them was guilty of it. We're all talking about how the Boston Celtics have X, Y, Z, and then, you know, they, they have all of this. They have Jason Tatum doing it. Jalen Brown doing that. They lead the league in three-pointers made. But Joe Mazzoul is – but, 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 but. we got to see it in the playoffs. And then they have one of the most dominating Eastern Conference uh, uh, performances that we've seen up until the finals. And people are like, well, they walked through the East, right? Now, it ended up getting erased, essentially, because they also walked through the Mavericks. But if I'm Drew Holiday, hearing all the naysayers for a quarter of a year as I'm progressing through that 82-game regular season and then a 20-or-so game postseason, yeah, it would fire me up. But if I'm Carmelo Anthony, like Carmelo Anthony is still, without a title, without an NBA title to his name, to me, still one of the best to ever play the game. Right, and I don't know if you know where you want to rank him all time. He's whatever. a Hall of Famer. But yeah. when I watch him, when I watched him play, I watched his whole career from high school to retirement, and there was very few guys who could fill a bucket up like Carmelo did, whether it be in the NBA, the Olympics, or so on. I would be, I would, it would make me sad, honestly, as a fan of the game, to know that Carmelo Anthony was not content with how his career turned out. Like he could have made different moves that would have prioritized winning over money, and so I'm not here to relitigate his career. But still, you're one of the best to ever play the game. It made uh, ungodly amounts of money playing the game. You can't look at your career like a failure, in my opinion, if you're Carmelo Anthony. He shouldn't. He I, shouldn't. I, he and so, should but not. I think that's Mello where he comes from with this, though. a fantastic career. I think this is where this comes from, though. It's like, no, no, no. I got my gold medals. I wouldn't trade him for an NBA title because right. look at all the stuff I was able to do in the NBA. If he was sitting back saying, I had tried all four for just one chance at a title, it would honestly make me sad. Be like, damn, he's really not like to be to reach that level of of heightened pinnacle and to still feel like you left something on the table, which I mean he did in terms of a championship, but you shouldn't feel like you're less like your career was less no. than because of it. But do you agree with me that he's just kind of saying that I, I agree with it's like a defense mechanism. It you have to lift up the value of the gold medals. Because you that's all you really have as far as championships are concerned. Right. 
So I think that's why he's doing it. But in reality, I, I look, can you imagine if Carmelo had a championship, how different his legacy would be? And it's great already. He is Melo was top set was Mel, Melo was top seventy five. Um, he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, but if he had won a championship, he would be in you know held in even higher esteem. And by the way, Martin. I don't know where you got double figures from. We beat Serbia by four. All right, my fault. We beat we pummeled them in the first two times we played them, but we beat them by four when it counted. I just never thought that any of those games were truly in question. Like I never. We beat them by four. I hear what you're saying. What are you Chris? talking about? When I'm watching the, Sudan, we were down with ten seconds left. Sudan was about? an exhibition game. I, okay, but still. But I'm talking but about when the brother when the we brother were, hit the road we in the tournament. When we entering the fourth quarter, you didn't think they had a chance. I within eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, I said, "Oh, they're slipping." I said, "Oh, they're, France is slipping. France is not going to have this." Oh, Fran, I was talking about Serbia, but yeah, I mean, look, those were tight games. Those were tight games, but an Olympic gold medal just because you have such an advantage of talent. I, it doesn't mean the same for the Olympic, for the American teams. I'm sorry. Now, I think going forward, it'll be huge because we is a great chance we don't win it in 2028. And if we do win, we won't enter as a team where it's just a, a, viewed as a foregone conclusion. LeBron will be gone. Steph. May, you would think yes, he'd be I, gone. I think you're looking at LeBron, Durant Steph, and KD will be, will be on. They they'll be yeah, watching from the couch like us. You think they'll be done, right? And so it's not a guarantee with these other guys, but uh, yeah, Drew Holiday is absolutely right. The NBA championship means more because because a lot of times, Martin, the level of I don't want to say satisfaction, but contentment or just the great feeling you get from an achievement is a lot of times related to the challenge that you had to overcome. And I think the Boston Celtics overcame a much bigger challenge by winning the NBA title. And same thing for Milwaukee when he won it, and I think it was 2021. Yeah. Uh, than the U.S. team did in winning gold at the Olympics. Hell, and he played a bigger role. Yeah, yeah. On the I Boston mean, he played team. A, he, was a, he had a legitimate role on Team USA, but yeah. Definitely a bigger role with Milwaukee and Boston. 